Do you have a boss who is uh, constantly shouting at uh, everyone? Or perhaps a boss who keeps uh, manipulating information to his credit, uh, stealing your work? Hi, I'm Nuno Riz and uh, this week I'll share some insights on how to deal with the uh, toxic bosses. And how you do that starts uh, by understanding the different types of uh, toxic behavior as each one of them leads to different strategies on how to best manage your toxic boss. For example, a boss who is a sociopath is uh, different from a boss who is a psychopath. Psychopaths tend to be more uh, manipulative, uh, can be seen by others as uh, more charming and even have a normal life. Usually they are the ones uh, who uh, steal your work and create it away from you and you don't even know it. Uh, sociopaths tend to be more uh, erratic, uh, rage prone and unable to lead uh, much of a normal life. Usually they are the ones uh, who uh, shout at everyone. Uh, in fact, many studies in psychology uh, confirm exactly that. Psychopaths are classified as uh, people uh, with a little or no consciousness, but are able to follow social conventions when it suits their needs. In contrast, sociopaths have a limit weak ability to feel empathy or remorse for others. They are also more likely to raise their voice, they get angry very easily and they react violently when confronted with uh, their uh, decisions. To summarize, uh, the characteristics of a psychopath are uh, pretend to care, uh, display emotional distance, fail to recognize other people's distress, and uh, enjoy taking advantage of people. And the characteristics of a sociopath are uh, care the less about how other feels and uh, make it very clear, behave in erratic and impulsive ways, prone to anger and rage, and they recognize their wrong behavior but rationalize about it. In short, psychopaths are more gracious and uh, sociopaths are more erratic, but both are cruel in their intentions. Understanding the difference between a sociopath and a psychopath is critical in how you manage your toxic bosses. The way you manage a boss who is a sociopath is very different from how you manage a boss who is a psychopath. But above all, uh, don't start to demonize your uh, boss. Rather, get a bigger picture of uh, his or her behavior. Ask yourself, uh, is your boss erratic behavior something that has started uh, recently? Or is your boss best known uh, for many, many years to be toxic, uh, leading to a high turnover and uh, burnout in the people working for him or her? You see, these are important questions uh, to ask to raise your awareness before designing a strategy to outsmart your uh, toxic boss. I hope that this gives a, a good starting point on how to uh, best manage your toxic boss. And uh, if you want to learn more, don't forget to subscribe below. I'm Nuno Riz, a high-performance coach, and uh, I've been working in finance for 18 years in institutions such as uh, UBS, uh, Barcup, uh, Morgan Stanley, and uh, Bloomberg. See you next week.